Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to take a nice little logo inside of After Effects that I've already created and make it into a 3D object that'll look really good. So we're going to go ahead and drag this in and we're going to go ahead and scale it down. You can click right here and then hold down shift to keep everything symmetrical. And go ahead and scale that down for your composition. We're then going to go to layer and auto trace. And we're going to go ahead and put to apply to new layer. I have it on red because that is the section of my logo here and as you can see there that now goes out so I can actually get rid of this or just hide it either one and I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate this layer and on the top one let's go ahead and make this invisible on the top one I'm going to go ahead and simply click a point let me zoom in here a little bit yeah, it's being funky so I select the whole section and delete everything on the right hand side. So we're going to go ahead and rename this to mask L because it's the left side. Then we're going to go back to the right side, rename this to mask R. And we're simply going to do the same thing, only deleting the other half over here. All right. So now we have two masks and they're good to go. So now we're back with a blank composition. All of these things are included in the packet um, underneath the video, so make sure to grab that. We're going to go ahead and go to our screen and put this above because this is kind of going to be our starting point. Let's go ahead and just um, scale this up here to about mm, 170 or so. We'll go ahead and click on the scale for the timeline and then we'll go ahead and go over here and just type in 100 so our image zooms back down. As you can see there it's a nice smooth slow transition going down. Next we're going to go ahead and drop our dust onto the composition here and this is a free um, uh, MP4 that you're just going to put as add and as you can see here now we have this cool smoke that kind of goes over it and we're going to adjust the colors and stuff all that later so don't even worry about that for now. Alright so now we're going to go ahead and click on our text tool. We're going to go ahead and type in our text. I've already selected a font that I like here and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of center this up here onto the bottom of the composition and I'll just scale it down a little bit kinda like that zoom in here and that looks pretty good actually so I can then take this text and just hide it for now because I'm not gonna need it next we're gonna go to new and create a solid we're just gonna call it E3 hit OK we'll then go over to our effects and presets grab element and drop it onto that next we're gonna go to custom layers custom text go ahead and put the first one as the left side and the second one as the right side. Go to scene setup, hit extrude twice. So you have two extrusion models. This second one we're going to put on the second layer and we're going to go ahead and click on path two. And so now you can see we can just transition between both of them and we have two 3D objects in our space. But one of the uh, good old questions is how do we move each side? So in group one you're going to go to particle replicator and then you can adjust the position of it here to where they line up and I happen to know that it's about right there and then under group 2 same thing only you're going to be doing it the other way and I'm actually going to line this one up a little bit closer on this side so that they are somewhat symmetrical like that now we're going to go ahead and go to um, about the three and a half second mark, so 3.50 down here in the left hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and keyframe our positions. Okay, and so now we're going to go all the way back over here and we're going to go ahead and just take these to where they're off of our um, uh, working area so now they zoom in together and they kind of come together and they they hit nice and hard like that okay now you could do a lot of other things with it as well so we'll go ahead and go up to here um, actually let's go to the end of our 350 mark here and let's go ahead and go into our rotations and you can see here we can rotate this this way um, the ending position actually needs to be a little bit offset by about 15 degrees so we'll go ahead and do that on both of these here. And this one here would be negative 15. Right there. So now we're going to go ahead and keyframe those rotations um, as the starting point here at the end. We'll then go back to the beginning. And we're going to go ahead and put these um, this rotation at one full rotation um, per side. So as you can see here, they rotate together. 
Um, it looks like the one on the left side is rotating the right way, but the other one looks like it's kind of going the opposite way. So we probably should adjust that. Uh, let's see here. So put one in there, one here. And we definitely didn't need to do that, so we'll just leave it alone for now. Um, but it does basically the basic effect that we're looking for. So our PFL Tux, uh, PFL Tuts text will come in right at the 350 mark. So we'll go ahead and just put that to there. And you can do a lot of different things with this text, um, including, um, you know, make it into 3D text or whatever you want. But we're actually just going to drop the opacity down a little bit because I just want it to kind of come through a little bit. And so far, our scene is looking good. So this is going to be part one, and I'm going to go ahead and start up on part two right after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check it out and download the stuff in the description below, and I will see you in part two.